Good morning. Vlogmas day 23. It is about 6.40 or so, and it's not a work day for me. Rub it in. But it is technically a work day in the sense that I've got a lot to do to get ready for um, going to visit family and then making the plan of when to go see my family um, for presents and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna go run um, to the store and get a few gift cards that I forgot to get. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be just a last minute wrap up day. Hopefully not too stressful. I'm really excited that, um, yeah, the holidays are here. I'm kind of sad that it's gone by so fast too. So we'll check in later. See ya. So we just made our way Christmas shopping at the Fred Meyer and that took a really, really long time to just buy some gift cards. And now we're trying to get into the Starbucks parking lot. You gonna do drive through Yeah, I think yeah, so. Like it. So that I think completes our, no, we have to go to the liquor store. Liquor store. Yeah, that's right. One more present to buy, liquor yes. store. It's a, it's a We didn't look at wine out there. Yeah, so we're gonna look at some whiskey for somebody and uh hopefully we'll be successful and i'll wrap it up later tonight so we'll see you Good evening. Um, yeah, we had a pretty productive day. I ended up working on my non-work day for a little while and I just realized I have to forward some phones. So I'm gonna log in here in a second and do that as well um, for some folks that are out of the office. So the joys of remote working. And I just washed my hair, I didn't bother to dry it. so. <laughs> it's it's one of those nights. That's okay. It's time for advent calendar time. Stefan's out doing his last Amazon run before um, Christmas, so hopefully that's going well for him. And hopefully he'll be home shortly. It's around seven, so he started around five, so it usually takes him about two two and a half hours to do that, so. Alright, so tonight's beautiful cafe of the night is Master Origin Nicaragua, a level five. And this is part of the regular line. Um, at least it was. I haven't checked the catalog recently, but my when I first got my Nespresso, this was one of the there's like Nicaragua and India and one other region that are part of the regular line, but otherwise um, it's just these written ones that have um, permanent residency. All the other fancy prints are are limited edition, as far as I remember. Now that could have changed. I haven't been to the boutique in forever, 
and we're lucky that we have a boutique in our um, fancy mall, the fancy mall at um, Washington Square in Tigard, Oregon, not too far, um, but it's outside of Portland. That's where all the, the higher end um, stores are. Well, there's no Louis Vuitton or anything like that there, but um, everything else that you would, you know, the Nordstrom and all that kind of stuff that you would go to, that's all there, so. Okay, so 23, 23 is a huge window right here. So let's see what 23 brings us. Holy crap. 23 brings us a giant bottle. Wow, I would expect this on Christmas, Christmas Eve. Holy shoot. <laughs> Clementine, California. I bet this is the one that I got my very first sample of that I can remember going, yes, this is, I love this brand because it was so orangey and beautiful. This is a cologne, spray cologne. Oh, yeah. This, what, this is it? Oh, wow. Well, that's the, for 20, yeah, 23. I wonder what tomorrow brings then. If you get this giant bottle for the 23rd. Wow. Did I do that the right way? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's awesome. So it's totally citrusy at first, and then it dries down to a, another, um, that, I always say it, that verdant smell, so that green, fresh, clean smell. So it's not like, here, I'm an orange, I'm just walking up to you. It's a very nice, um, fresh, clean smell. I actually do like that grapefruit one more. I'm actually kind of surprised, because again, this was the first one I ever tried and I did like it, but I'm actually really loving, I sprayed this on, I think yesterday, um, the Pomelo Paris. I really like it, so I think I might buy a, a large version of that um, when the time comes to get some more stuff. So yeah, that was cool. That was a big surprise for day 23. One more day, one more day, I think, right? 24. Yep, so you get Christmas Eve and then you're done. Cool, well, that's neat. Um, so yeah, we gotta pack up. We're gonna leave some time tomorrow um, for Madras. Um, so we're gonna take a different route. Normally we go um, up through Portland, out east through Sandy, Mount Hood, and come back down, Warm Springs and everything to Madras. This time, um, since we now live in Salem, we're gonna go down and around um, up from so Salem through Detroit, Sisters, Bend, Redmond, the North. Same distance, um, like exactly. <laughs> There's no difference in mileage, but um, the mountain passes are different. So I, I've never driven this way ever, so I have no idea what to encounter. I know on Mount Hood, we always encounter snow. So um, I don't know what the passes look like down here. And I don't know how difficult they are to, um, uh, go through. So I will probably drive my FJ um, because I have chains and everything. I never have never had to use my chains on FJ ever, but um, we have them at least with FJ um, and the ability with it being four wheel drive to, um, I've never gotten stuck. So I prefer to drive that. The uh, Stefan's car, the Tiguan, I hate that. Sorry. I hate that car <laughs> with a passion. I can't stand driving it. Um, and though while I have um, all season tires on it and it's all wheel drive, um, I, I just don't like driving that car. I barely like driving it in the rain, let alone um, in uh, inclement weather. So although I'm hearing that there is like nothing um, at all on that side of the mountain, and normally the weather there is quite, there's already snow and everything there. In fact, I had some posts last year on my Instagram where it was like, but just to trace, it was like a foot and a half of snow. So usually they have quite a bit of snow by now and there's, last time I checked on the cameras, there's like nothing over there, which kind of bums me out. I really wanted a white Christmas, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll go over, um, spend a couple days and then come back and I've made plans to see my 
brother, so my side of the family, um, on Sunday. So my niece, um, this poor thing, she was born on the 28th. So, you know, those kids were, these are your Christmas and your birthday presents. We try not, I try not to do that to her. <laughs> so while we're gonna combine um, opening the Christmas presents, um, I'm also gonna, I hopefully will do um, a lunch for her and then celebrate her birthday as well. So I'm trying to think of what else to um, do. In the past when they were little, I used to make their cakes, but now they're, they're old, they don't love me anymore, I'm just kidding. So um, I might buy them, uh, buy her a treat um, and bring it with a Christmas present so we can have, um, while we're celebrating at the same time, we'll, you know, clearly these are the Christmas presents, these are the birthday <laughs> things, or, you know, maybe we'll make it for um, New Year's and then just do Christmas stuff um, on Sunday, so we'll see. But um, anyway, so two different celebrations. Hopefully it will go fun. I'm gonna try to vlog um, during the time. I'm not sure how um, conducive it will be with, um, it's about three hours each way to drive. I'll take the MacBook, I'll take my, all my stuff with me to try to upload the best I can and hopefully make it interesting. We'll see a different environment out that way, but um, yeah, so happy Vlogmas Day 23 or on the home stretch. Happy holidays. See ya. Bye. <laughs>